Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video. Tonight we're going to be talking about the Resident Evil movie franchise. So, if you have watched uh, the entire Resident Evil franchise, you have probably played the Resident Evil games. The games, in my personal opinion, are absolutely fantastic up until I said Resident Evil 4 were good, but it got a little bit stupid with the Ouroboros stuff. Now this is never explained in the movies, I'm just trying to make a point here. Um, if you're not familiar, you just watch the movies, uh, they don't really explain anything in the movies. So the Ouroboros stuff is, um, if you've seen on Resident Evil Afterlife, I believe it were, the one with the prison. There were the zombies with the big things coming out of the mouth, like the octopus things. In the games, there was part of the Ouroboros experiments, which means they had a different kind of plague put in them, I guess. And still became vast quantities of different types of zombies. And this is where I believe it stops becoming a zombie franchise and became a monster franchise. So, what does that mean? In the movies and the game, it feels like... It feels like they got bored just doing zombies. And they just tried introducing monsters. But the problem is... They suck. I mean, they really suck. They weren't scary or anything. They were stupid. It was like... Somebody had sw swallowed a squid. Uh, or in the games, like, people become, like, crab people. Uh, but it's just like a Resident Evil final chapter at the beginning. Alice, who's not even in the games, faces off against that big flying batty thing. Yeah, but in the games, that is in, still in the games, but you can kill that with like a 9mm pistol with like three shots, and it takes her a Hummer and a Claymore to kill it. It's just like there's no continuity, it's just like... It floats in and out of whatever. The movies... See, I like Resident Evil 1 and 2. I did like, kind of like number three. I just think he got a bit stupid. See, with num number one and number two, he stayed with zombies, liquors, and a nemesis. Um, then he just got stupid. That's what he should have just stuck with. They could have introduced the tyrant or added more liquors. Uh, but no. No. Yeah. Stupid zombies. And they introduced characters, like really important characters. So they introduced um, Barry, Leon, uh, what's it, Claire. She were in the final chapter as well. You never knew what happened to her. Because we just saw Alice driving off into the sunset. Spoiler alert. <laughs> uh, what was the other one? Jill Valentine. Never knew what happened to her. Uh, Wesker, by the way, in the final chapter of the movies, the big bad guy that is in all, well, near enough, all the games, which is the ultimate villain, Wesker. You're always trying to beat him, but he's always getting away and whatnot. In the final chapter movie, he just becomes a joke. He doesn't do anything. He gets beaten by a door, then dies. He's like, what, what, what? This guy in previous movies. He can move faster than bullets, but he gets killed by door. Now I'm a huge, huge fan of Mila Djokovic. I've watched a lot of her movies. I'll do a video talking about if she's a good actor. Another time. Actor, not actress, remember. Not sexist here. You don't need a freaking... Uh, the term actress is sexist. 
you're an actor. You don't need genders. It's not a gender role. Not necessarily. Not necessary. Like nurse or doctor. Both fits for a male or female. Sure. Um, yeah. Back to it. I think I just. It felt like the movies were just pushed out for money. They didn't care about a plot. They didn't care about rounding things up. And it just felt like a crock of shit, to be honest. <laughs> uh, uh, when... Well, what were you on? I think you were on Resident Evil Extinction. Dr. Isaacs were introduced. Um, and he became kind of a tyrant, but it's not the kind of tyrant I want about. I want about the guy with like eight foot tall, wears a trench coat, sometimes a fedora. <laughs> um, but anyway, Dr. Isaacs were introduced as a scientist, um, and we always ass- <coughs> always assumed up until the final chapter, Wesker was in charge, and Isaacs was just a doctor. But it turns out Isaacs were in charge and Wesker's just a bodyguard or something. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Which is weird. Uh, the, there was another Resident Evil movie, I can't remember which one it was called. Probably, I think it was Resident Evil Afterlife. Where they left the end in at the White House, it was a massive cliffhanger, we left it at the White House, and they were surrounded by zombies, surrounded by all these other types of monsters, a massive cliffhanger, everybody was like, oh, I want to watch that, I want to watch that, so we get to the next movie, Resident Evil, the final chapter, the entire battles happened off screen, Alice is the only survivor, and that's not a good way to start a movie, pissing off the audience, straight away, you know, everyone's dead, everyone's, who's been brought here for the final stand is dead is like if you're a Game of Thrones fan um the battle of uh oh it's a Helm's Deep <laughs> uh, uh what's it got why well, am I having a brain fart on this Oh, I love uh, Game of Thrones. <laughs> Winterfell. Battle of Winterfell. Imagine if you saw that the army of the dead approaching Winterfell. Then the next episode, it cuts to everyone's dead. Oh, the Night King and everyone's dead. And uh, they won. That's basically what happened in Resident Evil's final chapter. It's like, they won. Well, all the zombies are dead. There's no bodies. White House is burnt to the ground. No survivors, apart from Alice, who's, for whatever reason, in a basement. It's just... It's just a crock of shit. <laughs> now, I thought, the first time I watched Resident Evil um, um, Final Chapter, I thought it was fantastic. But I was just caught up on the hype from the previous movie. Then on re-watching it, I was like... Why am I watching this? It sucks. It's a terrible movie. And I've only watched it twice. The other movies I've watched like seven times. But the final chapter sucks. So much. So much. <laughs> um, stiff arm. <laughs> so the, like I said, the problem is I don't know if they went from director to director to different directors in every Resident Evil movie and they've all had like, their own ideas of what this movie is meant to be. But there's no continuity whatsoever. Does Nothing gets explained. All the major characters of the Re- Resident Evil franchise are thrown away. Like, Leon is probably, if not the main character in the games, the second main character next to Jill or... Jill, Jill, yeah, Jill. Because uh, Claire's not in it that much, 
so Leon and Claire are basically the main characters um, and he's just thrown aside like it doesn't get explained, explained in the movies who he is or why he's there it's just like I am Leon it's a okay <laughs> and it just felt such a kick in nuts when you see like your favourite characters and it's like the <laughs> Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't think I am. But I was super pissed off. Um, uh, but it goes the same with like Ada Wong and Barry and uh, all all the other guys. It's just like, so we're here. No explanation who we are or why we're here, but so. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That's anyway. That's why I believe Resident Evil failed because he had no idea what the fuck he wanted to be. Uh, but I've already heard that there, there's a remake in works. <laughs> Hopefully, um, they stick with a certain type of zombie, a plot, like a, just have a survival plot. It's not bleeding out. You don't have to. Making all that explosions or introduce. I'll tell you this. The main thing that came from the games to the movies is the shotguns. Double barrel or triple barrel shotguns. Even that we, we like, we're meant to care about this. No one cares. Alice is not even in the freaking games. <laughs> like I said, I love Milo Djokovic. I think she's good at. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Good best friend of a movie. Uh, I like her anyway. She's pretty. She's in one of my favourite movies of all time. Um, Fifth Element. Uh, yeah. She's real, pr- real pretty. she got a real pretty mouth. Um, but. Hopefully. Um, we'll have a remake. Dick. Stick to a plot, stick to a cast. Uh, have Easter eggs. You don't have to have the uh, original cast from the games, but it might help. So people have got some reference to who the hell it's about. I mean, it's about the residents of evil. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, but yeah, you could make new stuff. Just make it. So it's uh, more in line with what's happening, not just like go from left to super right, meet somewhere in the middle. Yeah, probably making no sense, but whatever. It's my two cent on uh, why the Resident Evil franchise failed. No continuity, uh, no explanation, bad story writing, and everything else. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you guys next time with another idea for movies and whatnot and my two cent on for whatever it's worth. Laters.